These are Jamaican jerk chicken tenders with the homemade jerk sauce. Undoubtedly one of the best chicken tenders I've ever made. Walkers would make some good jerk seasoning, but we make ours at home. In a food processor include white and green onion, a handful of whole heartburn, a good amount of ginger. We strip thyme by the stem, some brown sugar, a very generous handful of pimento seeds, black pepper and bay leaf, a splash of white vinegar and oil. Last but not least, we need some scotch bonnet peppers. I hope I didn't get lied to because these look like habaneros. Now we're gonna add them. We need a little browning. And last but not least, the controversial Worcestershire sauce. Now we blend. That is just beautiful. Take a nice heaping ladle, save it for later. In a separate bowl, we're gonna add in our chicken tenders. I do like to control my salt. I did not salt the jerk rub. So I'm gonna hit the tenders with a good amount of salt. And then I'm gonna submerge them in our jerk seasoning. I like to strap up and give them a good generous mix. And then we're just gonna embrace how beautiful these already are. Now you wanna marinate until you lose patience. Don't be stupid and cook these right away. We worked way too hard to not let them marinate. Toss in the remainder of your jerk seasoning into a blender. Thin it out with a little water. And just blend it until it's nice and smooth. <laughs> drop this all into a pan. When lightly bubbly, drop in a couple nuts of butter and then we're gonna finish with a little honey i know the man done lost his mind if you are from the respected area of jamaica just know that i highly appreciate your food and culture and i know that this cooking method is not authentic at all when this thickens up and is nice and silky smooth you'll have a beautiful sauce to go over your tenders just let this slowly reduce now in a large separate bowl start with some all-purpose flour i'm gonna do one fourth amount in potato or cornstarch and then i'm gonna get generous with some jerk lemon pepper seasoning yeah if the color don't change no flavor was gained grab your marinated jerk tender and go straight into the flour and then follow them into your oil set at 350. i wholeheartedly promise you this will be a chicken tender to remember. If you'd like, you can toss some of the sauce you made earlier, but keep in mind there's plenty of jerk flavor in here already, so I'll let you determine how much jerk flavor you want. A little jerk sauce right there. And as always, now bismillah. That is absolutely insane. You have to give them a try. 